Ladies and gentlemen, today we hijack MAN Quick Stop. What? Spring is in the air here and so is the season to be outdoors, to enjoy the lakes and mountains. We wanted to hear what the MAN community is up to, so we spoke to campers around the world to see how they're getting their MAN TGEs ready for summer. Hi Thomas. Hi, Hi Lisa. Hi Tanya. I'm so excited to see your van. Can you give us a little tour? Of course. Um, this is our van. It's like a three bedroom flat. So this is our bedroom with a queen size bed and it's very comfortable. Of course we have a cupboard to do all our stuff. What we need, we have a fridge of course. This is our kitchen where we can also cook. Uh -huh. So you've got a stove as well. You've got. Yes, of course. Um, but we don't like it fixed in. Mm -hmm. So we can put it inside and take it outside. Uh -huh. But we also love it okay. to cook on fire. Yeah, and this is our living room. There we can sit, have a glass of wine. So what's life like in the van? Oh, it's great. If we can, we do it every weekend. Yeah, yeah. if it is possible, we pack everything and just go and have a great time in the nature. And uh... So how long have you had the van for? This MN we have for more than one year? More than one year, yeah. yeah. But we travel for yeah, more than 10 years and uh, go camping. What about a shower? Aren't you missing a shower? <laughs> uh, we don't have a shower, but we don't miss it because for the weekends it's okay. For two days we have a, a thing to brush our teeth or yeah, we also have an outdoor shower in summer times. So how does the outdoor shower work, Thomas? Ah, oh, we have, uh, it's a little bit back and we fill it with, with the water and then we have to pump <laughs> and then we can go behind from the van and can take a shower. Okay, so one has a shower and the other one has to pump. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but it's always cold water. What inspired you to get your own camper van? We love to be in nature and uh, we don't like that hotel thing to have fixed plan and everything and with the camper van you can pack everything, just go to the spot, be there, be in nature and um, relax your time and have your time. And, and do you plan your trips? Do you know exactly where you're going to go or you just go with the flow? If we have a longer trip we say okay we go to this point and we let it flow and see what happened. You might, you might stop somewhere on the way and, yeah. and, and not go to that destination. Last year in summer we went to the northernmost point in Norway and just know, okay, we want to go there, but the way uh -huh. is not fixed. Okay guys, so I came to camp with you today and it's a gorgeous day, gorgeous location. What are we going to do today? Yeah, we bring something special from Switzerland. I think maybe you know that we want to cook some raclette, but not the typical raclette uh, inside and just sitting on the table. Mm -hmm. We want to do the raclette outside on fire. Mm. Yes. So we're going to have some cheese. Lovely. And how, how do you make that then? We have special pans for that. And um, I think we should do that. I'm hungry. Let's get started. Hey Thomas, you know someone else is joining our camping trip today. Oh cool. Yeah, he's actually from MAN. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, and here he comes now. Hey Johannes, great that you're here. Hi, yeah, nice being here. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hi. So Thomas is cooking some tasty food for us. We'll be back later because I can't wait to see the MAN individual lioness. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So Johannes, how did the MAN TGE individual lioness come into being? Well, actually the idea started with the TGX. So in the beginning the idea was we want to make um, product features which are driver orientated and brings luxury and um, a sporty look to the drivers. So why not bring this idea 
to the TGE and this is how it went. Oh, I see. So this is sort of a mini version of the TGX truck, right? Yeah, absolutely. And there are lots of uh, similarities. Uh -huh. As you have been working with MAN already, why not make a quiz? Um, okay, well, what does that involve? Well, the task would be that you find the similarities between the TGX and the TGE in just about 60 seconds. Okay, I'm up for the challenge. Okay, let's do that. Let's do it. Are you ready? I think so. Okay, then let's go. Okay, so similarities with the TGX. It's definitely got a sporty feel because of the, the red stripe here. Then right next to you, the mirror cap here with the, with the red carbon and the black Lion logo there in the middle. Yep. And then the wheels are really similar. You've got the black rim, right? That's really symbolic there. Yeah, the, the black rims are the same like the TGX. Um, the only difference is that uh, on the TGE, we have inside the brake sockets in uh, red color. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm not sure. Can you give me a clue? Yeah, I can give you a help. Oh, that's See, really helpful. This is the Thank model you. Of the model, right. Okay, the model is really helpful, Johannes. Thanks, because I can see the three red stripes here on the TGX, and there's one red stripe yeah, there, right? Absolutely. Looking at the model, I see that sign, <laughs> the individual S with the with the lion logo. And then and then here on the lights I see again yes. that, that carbon rim. Red red carbon S on the mirrors. Beautiful. So you found pretty much everything, but we do, still do have the inside. Um, and let's see if you do just as good as you on the outside. Okay, I'll try. So let me have a look. Um, oh, this red sporty stripe there as well. I think that's similar. And definitely the diamond stitching, the red stitching here. You're out of time now. Oh no, how did I do? <laughs> it was very well on the outside. Uh, on the inside, we still have some more features, okay. um, but for sure um, the similarity is the um, red diamond uh, stitches. Mm -hmm. You did wrong with oh. the red light here. This one is actually a hazard light, um, so especially for delivery services. So Johannes, are there any other features in the Lion S model? Well, we pretty much talked about all of the features. Uh, there are two more. Inside we have the red uh, safety belts mm -hmm. uh, and outside we have the steps, which are also only on the individual Lion S. But on top of this individual Lion S, um, this van also um, combines some more products of MN Individual. I would like to show you some. If you close the door, I can okay. show you the off-road package. Mm -hmm. um, so on the off-road package, we have the big tires, the off-road tires, as well as uh, a lifting of 30 millimeters and the underride guard, underride protection of this vehicle. But we have also more features um, which makes you able to um, individualize the product as you just want to have it. Mm -hmm. And we should have a look inside. Let's look at some examples, yeah. First, what you can see is the so-called combi. Mm -hmm. um, it's the uh, plate on the on the bottom but you can choose seats up to nine overall mm -hmm. and then um, we also have the pop-up roof um, and if you want to I can show yeah what's in there so if you're tired from working right <laughs> you can have a siesta up there absolutely <laughs> lovely let's take a look Oh, very nice. So, Johannes, what is the concept individual all about? We are one business unit inside of MAN. Um, and as I mentioned before, it's a truck, bus and van. And what we do is that we try to collect all the demands of the customers and individualize the vehicles on their demands. Mm -hmm. um, so there are lots of different demands. So for example, this is uh, especially for campers uh, or mainly for campers, but we also have ambulance uh, customers or for example, delivery services to mountain huts. Okay, and what, what would your ideal customization be for you, for example? Your, what would the well, you see be? it right now, it's mm -hmm. this van. Mm -hmm. You know, I have kids, uh, they're playing hockey, so I can install nine seats in here and I can go to the games with with, uh, with half of the team plus all the hockey gears but then during the week I can use that as a mobile office and in the summer times when I w want to go camping and in, into the wild I just take the pop-up roof yeah and in the end it's an absolute uh, universal utility vehicle so many fantastic uses I want one so where can I order it well you can ask any um, salesperson of MAN or mm -hmm. um, if you want to have more interior installations and stuff you can also go to one of our customers who do the installations and then buy the total vehicles from them. And what's the next step in the development of this product line? We are in a big um, development phase right now. One of my favorite products which is coming out probably end of this year is a um, full air suspension for this vehicle and this is so great because you can use it on the streets with a lower level and if you want to go off-road you can lift it up to 
hopefully 70 millimeters. So right now we have the mechanical lift and later on we will have again a very flexible um, suspension. Exciting. So where would you go off-road with this vehicle? Where would you like to go? Morocco. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're going there next. <laughs> Great. Hey guys, all set for Raclette. Great. Let's cool. go. Thanks Thomas. So Lisa, Thomas, you've made something special for us. What are we having? Yes, we have a traditional Swiss dish it's called raclette. And now we do some special thing. We do it over the fire. Lovely. How does it work? You can take uh, your pan and then you can take one cheese inside. Okay, and now you can hold it over the fire. You can shake it a little bit and wait. Okay, in the meantime, Thomas, you can tell us about your vlog. Our YouTube channel is called Einfach Deluxe. People often think go to camping or go outside is a lot of work, but it is not so. It's very easy and we want to show it with our videos that you can go, you can go out, you can go on a weekend, have a little adventure. So simplicity and nature are yeah. luxury. Yeah. Wonderful. I like the concept. So Lisa, you can have any van you wanted. Why did you choose this van? Why an MAN van? Because the MAN has the clean look and enough space that we want. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, we have the after sale supports and for us it's very important. So last year in Artium, we need the after sale support when we went to Spain. And there was a public holiday and everything was closed and the MAN helpline find us a garage that's open for us. And it was in front of the sea and so our story had a happy ending. I think. I think this story has a happy ending too, because yes, I yes. think my cheese is ready now. So I just scrape it off now. Yeah. In the in the direction. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, this looks wonderful. This one is for you. Like yes. that? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Great. What other kind of cooking utensils do you use? Uh, we also can cook with special pans for the fire. You call it the Dutch oven, mm -hmm. and can some some uh, meat or something else. Enjoy, Johannes. Mmm, the cheese is delicious. Thank you so much. So tell me all the places you've been to with your van. We traveled to, um, to Spain, to Andorra, to France, and in the north to Sweden and Norway, Denmark. And in the summer you can take a longer holiday, right? Yeah. So I've had a wonderful day here at the lake with Johannes, Lisa and Thomas. What would be your dream camper van? What would you put in it? Do let us know in the comments below. And also I'd be curious to know where would you want to go with your dream camper van? Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode of MAN Quick Stop. And I'll enjoy the lake for the rest of today. Bye.